What's happening YouTube? How is everyone? I hope good. I got a new tapestry. It's really cool. It's a tarot card. It's the moon if you can see it. I really like it. Um, I have a couple for sale on my website. So check those out if you like them. I think I only have two in right now. I think one's the sun and I'm not sure what the other one is to be honest. Anyways, I'm here with a two pile uh, reading what they find attractive about you. So we're going to do two piles. You can choose between pile one or pile two. And we will go ahead and get started. So for pile one, the first card I pulled is trust. So they find it um, very attractive that they're able to trust you. That, um, you know, they don't have to worry about what you're doing throughout your day. Who you're with. If you go out with your friends, they're not having to worry. If you, I'm uh, trying this again, sorry. Um... If you decide to go out with your friends for the weekend, you know, on a Friday night, they don't have to worry about who you're going to go home with because they trust you enough to where they know you're going to go home to them or you'll see them the next day. They also like your beautiful hair. She has beautiful hair. They like your, like your side profile. They love your neck. They love your arms. Maybe they like your upper arms. Um, you might be a person that's really colorful, so they might like that about you. They like your jewelry, and they love the way that you dress. You might dress a little unique, so they like that. Um, the next one is refusing to see. They like that you have um, spiritual gifts, more than likely you're clairvoyant, because you can see the third eye there. Uh, they probably, I'm getting that they like that you actually do not refuse to see what's going on around you, so they like that. Um... They feel that you're really connected to the divine, and they think that's pretty cool. I don't know if they really, really know a lot about all that stuff, but they find it really interesting and kind of cool that you are so connected. Transformation. They um, have probably watched you go through a transformation, uh, which they th think is really, really attractive. Um, that you have embraced your transformation, maybe you're still going through it, but they find it just really kind of mysterious and really sexy and j just think it's awesome that you could go from one person, being one person to being something completely different. They also like you in green, like so wear green around them. Trapped in Fear is your next card. With this card I get that... Um, Maybe you're the type of person that you, everybody gets trapped in fear, but maybe you're able to make your way out of it really quick, or you're able to make the decisions to, to prevent being trapped in fear. Um, or maybe it's that you can help them get out of their, you know, be feeling trapped in fear. I feel that more than the first two, but those three different things is what I'm feeling. So, peace. I am... A being of love and I release all negative negative energy they like that you really focus on living in peace you want a peaceful life sometimes you might not have a, such a peaceful life but I believe that they know that you are striving to have peace in your life um, maybe you're kind of a hippie ish type person and they like that about you but definitely they they really like that you're you know generally just a peaceful type person you're a free spirit you don't like drama. You don't like all that bullshit. So they do like that. Your next one is patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. They love that you are patient. Maybe you're having to wait around for this person to come into your life or um, get out of a situation. Or maybe it's just something, another situation in your life that you have shown that you have a lot of patience and don't mind waiting for things that you know are good for you. So they really like that. Whoop, as I dropped the card. Challenges, uh, like the one, um, what card was it before? Maybe it was the Trapped in Fear. They like that even though you sometimes are faced with some challenges, that, you know, you can, you know, go at them head on. You, you don't really, or maybe it's because you're not afraid to reach out to people and ask, when you are challenged, you know, in a certain aspect of your life, you know, like me, I'm not a person that really asks people for too much because whenever I do, it's like everybody tells me, well, I, I can't help you, so I don't know what to tell you. 
So, I mean, why even bother? I mean, that's way I feel. But, or maybe it's because you can deal with challenges, you know, without having to reach out to people. But no matter what, if you ask for help or not, you're still, you still work through the challenges and they really find that attractive about you. Clarity. Let me trust my deepest instinct in all ways, especially when matters are unclear. May my own holy intuition always guide me the way. So they love that um, you use your intuition to guide you in you know, your everyday life in all the situations that you find yourself in. Sometimes your intuition will tell you things that you haven't even, even like say it hasn't even happened in your life. Maybe when you meet somebody, you if you're like me, you automatically know if you can trust that person or not. It doesn't mean that you don't like them, but it's just you you kind of can tell right away if you are going to be able to really fully open up to that person or kind of keep them at an arm's you know distance. Knight of Swords, drama card. With this. I don't feel that you cause drama. I feel that you avoid drama, that you do not like drama in your life. Uh, you like a more peaceful type life. Um, and they really like that. I think that whomever this is, you know, it, well, this could be like a friend. This could be a family member. This could be a coworker, a stranger, you know, or, you know, a loved one. But, you know, they, they, however they know you or however they've seen you, they know that you, you do not cause drama, you don't want to cause drama, um, and that you want to stay, you know, as far away from it as possible. And most people don't like drama, some do, I guess, some, you know, live to be in conflict and drama all the time, and it's annoying. The next one I have is New Beginning, well, it's the full New Beginnings, and as you can see, it's diving into the ocean, and they feel like you will dive into any new, you know, New Beginning. You're not afraid to start over, you're not afraid to move, you know, from state to state, and you're not afraid to um, begin new relationships if you feel like that's what you want. New jobs. They just find it really courageous of you. And they love that about you. And they love that, you know, they're hoping that you will have a new beginning with them. Again, it doesn't have to be in romance. Your next card is the Three of Wands. Um, let me see here. And... I get uh, completion of a first stage of a project or process. So you, they love that you, like when you set your mind to something, you go, you go for it, you go after it, you don't stop until it's completed. Um, and, and, in, and that's in like every aspect of your life, if it's, you know, work, if it's uh, school, in a relationship, anything. You don't give up, you don't do anything half-assed. You, you, you begin a project and you finish it, and they really find that attractive about you. Your next one is Nine of Cups, and to me, this is the wish card in this deck. So um, they kind of they kind of feel like you are a person that you make a lot of wishes, and your wishes do come true. That you know how to manifest things into your life, and they really think that's attractive. Um, they might like that you like colors. This is a really colorful card, but look at her face. It has a bunch of colors. They love your smile. She has a really pretty smile. Um, they just think that you're really sexy. She looks really sexy. They might like when you wear high heel shoes. They might like it when you put things in your hair. They might like your makeup, too, because of all the color. Um, they think that you're kind of fun. You can go out and have a good time. She looks like she's drinking and... And that, I don't know, that you're just really mysterious and sexy and they just find that really attractive about you. The next one is you have more options than you realize. So they think it's attractive that a lot of people are after you, that a lot of people would like to date you or be your friend or maybe even hire you. Um, they find that just to be really attractive. It probably makes them feel really good that, you know, if you're with this person or whomever, you're friends with this person, you know, it brings a lot of attention to, to you both and it makes them feel good. Like, you know, yeah, this is my dude or, you know, this is my chick and yeah, you guys can want her, but I have her or vice versa. Time for a love fest. Um, with this, <laughs> it's kind of cute. With this, they, they know that with you, you're not afraid to like, you know, have these love fests. You, you're not afraid to be romantic. You're not afraid to be kind of that 
silly kind of, you know, lovey-dovey type, cuddly type person. And they know no matter what that they'll feel like warm and fuzzy whenever they're around you. Um, and that, that makes you just really attractive. They love that you generate love out into the world to, you know, towards them and then towards other people, but not in the same sense. But they, you know, you're just kind of one of those little warm and fuzzy love type people, which is really cute and attractive. The next card is good fortune. They feel that you um, obviously are, a, you know, financially stable. If you're not already, that you will be, that you have, you know, a lot of, you're going to have a lot of success in your life. Uh, and it doesn't even have to be financial. It could be this, just that, you know, you're a good fortune in, in life. You're stable, you know, you just, you just offer a lot. And they know that whatever you go for, you're going to achieve. And that's awesome. No attachment. They love that you are not attached to somebody else. And if you are, they don't know it, but they love that you're, that you're not attached to another person trying to pursue them and maybe vice versa. Maybe that you're not one of those people that attach yourself to them and expect them to want to be with you like 24 hours a day and, you know, that you're one that you can't like shake off because they want, you know, people need their space. So they also like that you like flowers because this card has a lot of flowers in it, that you love butterflies. Maybe that's the how they view you like after your transformation. I didn't look at this one. They, on this one, they like that you are good with children. Um, maybe you like the outdoors and they really like that about you. And in some sense, you know, in some people, they kind of look at you like you're an angel. So the next one is set your course, know where you wish to go, have a plan, the right direction. So they feel, excuse me, they feel that you're going in the right direction, that you always have your, you know, a plan of what, where you're going to go to next. And, you know, they, they know that you'll never be in a position that you don't have, you know, a direction to where you want to go next in your life. So they really like that. They like that you are, um, you have a connection with animals. You might be, have some cats. Maybe they like cats. They love your eyes. They find them very mysterious. They kind of, you know, when people have those eyes and they just like speak to you, you look at them and it's like, I don't know, or they can see right through you. That's what I'm getting with that. They love your lips, of course. They love your nose. It's kind of a button nose. And, and they love your hair. It might be kind of a goldish brown, like a, maybe a dishwater blonde. The next one is, it's always tea time, eternity, endless moments. And it's always tea time, eternity, endless moments. They feel like, you know, with you that they'll always have, you know, good memories, good, you know, good moments. You guys will always have a good time. You can have like these deep, you know, heart to heart conversations. Um, even if you guys are fighting, they know that you could, you know, you would always make up. Maybe it's, you know, the fact that, you know, um, you could be in a fight and you're not afraid to say sorry because you know, it would, you know, help the situation. They feel like they'll be with you for eternity that once, if you're with each other, that you'll never be apart. Um, they like that you like to show your emotions. See her, she looks like she's crying. So they find that very attractive. They find that your hair is just beautiful. It doesn't even really have to be long, but they like how shiny it is. It's really shiny. They love the shape of your face. It might be round. They love your nose, your lips, and then again, your eyes. Your eyes just like seem to talk to them. So that's, they really like that about you. Um, they might think that you look good in blue. And then do you see all these magic mushrooms everywhere? Maybe they like that you like to indulge once in a while in some illegal action, I guess, you know. And then the, the last three cards are going to give us signs of what uh, zodiac signs are really strong in this reading. If I do not say your, your uh, sign, don't say, well, then this isn't my reading because it, that's not true. You could have one of these in your chart or you're just not mentioned, so... Um, the first one I pulled is the Mars action card, and it is for Aries and Scorpio. I guess I could show you the card. The next one I pulled is second house assets, and it's the Taurus. And then the last one is ascendant um, outlook, and it's all signs. So pretty much all signs are present in this one. 
Well, Pile One, that's what I have for you. I hope that it resonated. Um, I hope it gave you some insight on what they find so attractive about you. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so because I'd greatly appreciate it. I'm sending so much love, so many positive vibes, and peace to each and every one of you. Take care, and I'll see you on my next video. Let me write down the thing. Okay, so pile two, let's get started. Your first card is seek the truth. So they find it attractive that you always, um, you have enough, you know, self-respect and self-love that you, you want to hear the truth, even if the truth is too, you know, heart, hurtful to you, or, you know, it's not at times we seek the truth, but really when we get it is we find that we really didn't want that because we didn't expect it. That you're not afraid to, you know, venture out, venture out and, you know, find the truth. If there's something you want the truth um, in regards to, that you will seek it, that you won't give up until you reach it. They also like it that you are moving towards the light, that you're moving towards living more in the light. So they really like that. Um, they like your hair. You might have long hair and it's, um, they love it when you French braid it. Uh, they might like when you wear red. Or pink this looks kind of red or pink um, so the next one is um, healing begins they find it very attractive that you take time out uh, away from everybody away from you know love everything so you can heal yourself so that you know when somebody's hurt you or you know, somebody's passed away or you know whatever the circumstances are that you're not afraid to actually feel the pain and really work on healing from it because that's really important for us all to do they really like it if you curl your hair or if you have like, you know, a perm. They like when you wear jewelry. They might like your earrings. And they might like it when you wear dresses that are a little bit more, you know, um, like tight fitting. They like your eyebrows. And they like it when you have kind of a tan. So the next one is suffering in silence. With this, I get that... Uh, it's not that they find it attractive that you suffer in silence, but they find it attractive that you're able to, you know, kind of not play the victim, not, you know, expose yourself to the whole world trying to get sympathy for everything that you're going through, that you're not afraid to take a time out and go and, you know, suffer when you need to suffer when you go through hard times. They might like it that... Um, They might like your hair. They might like your arms and your skin. It shows a lot of their um, arms and skin. They might like your feet. They might like it when they see your bare feet. Some people are, you know, have that foot fetish, fetishes, if I could say it. Um, they might like it that you enjoy being outside, that you really, um, like, you really appreciate, like, the sun and the moon and sunsets, maybe. Maybe you like sunsets. I love sunsets, but... Uh, disruption, the tower. Maybe they, they find it attractive that, you know, they could look at you and nobody would know on the outside that you've had a lot of towers in your life and that you've, like, you know, been knocked down into the gutter, but you're able to make your way back out of the gutter. That you're not ashamed to express or, like, talk about the mistakes you've made or the bad things that have happened to you. That you can pretty much have a tower and you can make it out of their, <clears throat> excuse me, on your own, that you don't have to rely on anyone. And they like it that you don't stay stuck here. So they find that very attractive. Loneliness. I know that I'm never alone. Everybody has felt lonely. Everybody does. But loneliness can be really, for people, either they can really handle it or they, a lot of people cannot. They find it attractive that you, just because you're not lonely, I mean, just because you're lonely, excuse me, um, you don't just go out and seek every Joe Blow in the bar or every Cindy Lou, you know, at the mall or whatever, that you don't have to go sleep around with, with everybody in town trying to figure out somebody to, you know, kind of keep you occupied to not, to help you not feel loneliness. That you're not afraid to be alone, that you actually probably, pretty, you know, you like to be alone a lot is what I'm feeling. And they find that really attractive. The next one is fear. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. 
So they like that you face your uh, fear head on, that you don't let fear stop you, that you try to you know live in the energy of love at all times, that you don't let the darkness and the the devil come in and take that away from you. Um, maybe that you try to help people realize that no one has to live in fear, that we can just, you know, kind of grow a set of, you know, balls and go for it. I don't know how else to put it. Um, that you don't fear, maybe you don't, maybe you're a really outspoken person, maybe you're able to share your thoughts and feelings and be vulnerable with people and they find that attractive because a lot of people live in fear and they won't do that so next one is intention intention is simply allowing the will and the mind to align and move in harmony may i always focus on the highest my intention is that all god's wishes for me to come true so they they like that you know you, you set intentions you follow your intentions um you're able to align uh, your will and your mind. They really like that. That you believe in you know, the universe, that the universe will definitely take you on the right path and give you the things that you want in life. The next one is doubt. Offering all to the divine doesn't mean negativity never arises. But you can say, free me from this prison of doubt. I cast this burden to you. Show me your will and restore me to faith and confidence. So, you know, we all have doubt in our life, of course. Um, some have doubt way more than others, and some get stuck in their doubt. They like it that they find it attractive that you, even though you have doubts, you, maybe you, you go after, say, with, with the person that's here that is saying how attractive you are or whatever, um, Maybe you want to date them, and, but you, they're really distant. You don't know what they're thinking. You don't know how they feel. And it, it does, you, you, you feel that doubt of maybe the relationship working out because there's differences between you. But you don't let that stop you. You still want to go forward. You still want to kind of push past that doubt and, you know, move out of, you know, tell it to move the fuck out of your way and, and you know, go for it. Because if we doubt everything that we do in life, then, and you get stuck there, we don't get very much done and we don't get new, you know, we don't grow and learn and stuff like that. So, eight of wands, travel. They love that you, that you love to travel. Maybe you're one of those people that jump in their car on the weekend and just go somewhere for the weekend. Or you like to plan trips and go on vacations and I love doing all that stuff. I love to travel. The next one is five of swords, conflict. They like, they find it attractive that you really do not like conflict, but if faced with it, you will, you know, confront it. You don't go out and seek to cause conflict with anyone. You, you do try to avoid it as much as possible, but sometimes it's just not, I mean, it's not avoidable. The next one is the lovers. And when you look at this card, they like it that you are sexy. They like it that you are adventurous that you will be adventurous in the bedroom they like your stomach there he's touching his, her stomach and she likes his chest and she loves it when he's naked because he's naked behind there she likes his long hair so you can have long hair um they like to maybe have sex in the water and then maybe you're you're adventurous with that they love your lips, they love your side profile, they love your breasts, you can see your breasts there, they find them very attractive. Um, they like how like sexy you are maybe, maybe you're a great kisser, that kind of comes out. They love your, bo they love your body, they find your body very, very, very attractive. They love your skin, they find it attractive. Um, your feet, your, oh they really like your ass. They like the curvature of your back, you can see that. They just find you all the way around just very, very attractive. They might also like your hands or, or his hand. You know, I'm, when I say yours, it's him or her, hers. But they just, yeah, they like you a lot. Your next card is the star man. Which is, we all know, this is an Aquarius card. So that's the way I look at it, at least. 
they love that you are really brilliant. They find it attractive that you're really intelligent, that you're kind of like electric, like they find it attractive that you kind of electrify people, like your energy. They love your, you know, they find your energy very attractive. They find that you are a very colorful person, that you have a lot of knowledge, that you're really connected to the divine, and they find that your power, you have a lot of power, and they find that very attractive about you. Honor the self. They find it very attractive that you respect yourself, that you know what you want, that you know how you want to be treated, that you're not going to be in a third party, you're not going to let people just run all over you and take advantage of you. Um, and that you love yourself, so they find that really attractive. Enjoy your extraordinary uniqueness. They find it very attractive that you live in your own uniqueness, that you embrace your uniqueness. You don't try to fit into every, you know, everybody else's norms. You don't give a shit what society says about you or how people expect you to look or be or, you know, how to wear your hair or, you know, what kind of job you're supposed to work at. They love that you have enough, you know, self-love and you honor yourself enough to do the things that you love that make you your unique person. So that's awesome. The next one is empowerment. They love that you stand in your power. You don't let people kind of shove you down or push you aside, um, but you do it in a really loving, tactful way. You're not, you know, stuck in your ego, but you definitely... When you walk in a room, you scream power. So they love that. Let me see what else here. They love that you love flowers. They might like it when you wear red because there's a lot of red there. That could be their favorite color maybe. Grounding. Attractive that you seem to be grounded in everything that you do, that you stay grounded in your life. Um, that you embrace, you know, Mother Earth and how, like, nature and stuff keeps you grounded and, you know, connected to the earth and they love that you love to be outside and that you love you know all wildlife you might have a soul connection to them they like it when you wear like stuff in your hair it doesn't really have to be a flower you can wear like a do rag or you know anything that on top of your head maybe even a hat they might like it when you wear dresses maybe uh, sleeveless dresses they might like it when you wear white they might like it when he isn't wearing a shirt and he's all tan. Um, they might like your jewelry. The arms on her really stand out to me. They might like it because you have muscles or, you know, you're really buff. Girls are guys. Law is not justice. Rules that are not fair. They, they like it that you balance out. You try to balance out everything in your uh, life. As you can see, she has a little balance there. This is kind of like, like um, the justice card, obviously. Um, you could be a Libra. They love that uh, you, they love how you do your makeup. They think you kind of look like a porcelain doll. Your skin, they think that your skin looks like a porcelain doll. It's just so soft and beautiful. They love your big eyes. They like your eyelashes. They love the shape of your face. They love your hair. They like that maybe you indulge in stuff that you're not supposed to, maybe. They might like it when you wear blue. They love your eyebrows, your lips, your nose. And they like it when you, maybe you color your hair in different, you know, different colors. It doesn't even really have to be a natural color. It can be kind of like mine, but they like that. So, let me see here. Next one is mortality. Life is brief, bright, beautiful, and yours to live. They love it that you, you, you take, live your life to the fullest, that you embrace everything about your life. Um, they love your eyes. See how big her eyes are. They love that you wear different colored type makeup. See her lips are blue. They might like it when you wear stuff on. Oh no, it's her. Is that her hair? No, yeah, that's her hair. They love it that you do different stuff with your hair. It's just not the norm. They love your eyelashes. They love your hands. And they, they just find you very mysterious and they find that very attractive. And then the last three cards are going to be just signs that are powerful in this one. Aries, Libra, Taurus, and Scorpio, the opposition balance card. We have Gemini, the butterfly. And then last but not least, we have Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, the allowing card. So pile two, that's what I had for you. I hope it resonated.
Um, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so. And everybody have a great rest of their day. Peace.